Hey y'all, I'm Cindy. Welcome to Cindy Hart's Crochet Podcast, a podcast mainly about crochet and crochet accessories, but not immune to anything else we might want to talk about. So today is Monday, May 27th, 2019. It is Memorial Day here in the United States and where we remember those who have sacrificed their lives for the freedoms of our that we enjoy every day and uh, remembering them and their families because they have suffered as well and I want to thank all those who do serve and have served in the past um, and my main reason for coming to you today or making a video today is to also celebrate whoop, whoop, 500 plus subscribers Welcome new and returning subscribers, and thank you all who have given me shout outs and mentioned my name or helped me in some kind of way, uh, whether it be, my thing's fallen, sorry, whether it be um, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or with my crochet. Um, I appreciate it all, and it is a great community. I've gotten to know quite a few of you more um, through the Zoom chats. But it is kind of special to hear your name uh, mentioned by someone on the other side of the world. People you have never met before, but you feel like you've known forever. Thank you. You all know who you are, and I love you all. <laughs> but if you have not yet subscribed, please do. Uh, do so and hit the little bell next to that and you will be notified of any future videos that I make. I hope that they will be coming more regularly uh, soon. I know they've been a bit sporadic lately, but I have no excuse. Not really. Lazy. It's hot here already in the south and I just have no excuse anyway whatever all right um but i do have a giveaway for having over 500 subscribers i know i came to 500 a while back uh, but i've just not gotten myself together or i couldn't figure out what to do i didn't want to just give you a bunch of stuff you didn't want uh, because yarn nobody wants yarn do they Ugh. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, but I was trying to figure out something sort of a little different. I do, I don't know, as cheesy as it may be, <laughs> I myself would enjoy uh, receiving this. So anybody that has seen my pictures or uh, Facebook or Instagram this week, or I have posted on Ravelry, or I've entered a couple of make-alongs with these, but I've had this pattern uh, by Zines and Roger, Rosina with Zines and Roger, for her granny market bag. For a, well, I think I got it when I got her grain bow shawl. And I've just now done, made it because I couldn't figure out what colors I wanted to do it in. But this is her granny market bag. I did mine in the two solid colors is the Lion Brand Re-Up. And I think this one is, I want to say Marigold maybe, or Buttercup. And the pink one is Raspberry. And then I have used Lion Brand Comfy Blend, Comfy Cotton Blend in the middle in Flower Garden. All of the colors are not showing up, but that is... There's just a variety of colors there. Fuchsia, blue, mint, gold, off-white. I think there, it goes towards a red in there also. But a lot of really pretty colors. So, mine, I'm, hers is made with a, um, I want to say, I know it's a smaller yarn and a smaller hook, maybe like an E. So, but I have done mine with, like I say, the number fours, 
size fours and an H hook. So mine's larger than what the pattern would probably be if you use the smaller stuff. But I love it. Um, I am going to do myself another one in a different color, a lighter color, more neutral-ish, um, to carry as a purse. And I'm going to line it. And then I like these handles, but I think for a purse, I'm going to probably bring them out a little bit further just so the sides are not open so much. This is going to be a great market bag, and I'm, I'm getting ready to make another one, actually. But the reason I show you this is because I am going to give away... Uh, this is a free PDF download uh, by Scenes and Roger, but I am going... I have printed out three of them and am going to give away three sets of the pattern as well as the ingredients to make your own. So I will show you those now. Um, the one that... Now I use the Line Brand Re-Up, uh, which is the recycled cotton. And it's an okay cotton, but it's not... Um, I'm not sure how sturdy it's going to be. So... I may even, now I didn't have any problems crocheting with it. I didn't have any problems uh, with it splitting or anything like that. Now, the raspberry skein I got did have a couple of pieces that were actually cut and just kind of stuck on the outside of the skein. It wasn't like they were um, cut in a pack, trying to open packaging or anything. But anyway, I may take this off. I may rip this back and redo it with um, peaches and cream or something. Anyway, so one of the packages I'm going to give, and these are in no certain order, is the same color that I used, the Comfy Cotton Blend in Flower Garden. I am in no way sponsored by any of these um, companies that I am giving uh, gifts from. I have bought these with my own money, so I think I have to say that now, legally. But this is the Comfy Cotton Blend in Flower Garden. And then I'm going to include the cotton, two cottons to match it. These are the peaches and cream. This is gold and royal. So those colors are within that. So that is one of the packages. And Goliath has just started snoring, so please excuse him if you can hear him in the background. Most of the time y'all say you can't hear him, so <laughs> just say it. Okay, so the next one I'm going to give. I'm going to give three sets of these packages away. Uh, the next one is Lion Brown Comfy Cotton Blend in Stained Glass. And then the cotton I'm going to include with that is a green... And purple, the green is rosemary, and the purple I think is called black currant. So I think those go pretty together. And then, probably the one that will be most popular <laughs> or loved the most is Soothing Lavender. <laughs> and yes, it's purple. Purple and pink. Those are pretty. All of these comfy cotton blends are pretty. There was uh, two more colors, driftwood and something else that I liked. But with this one, I'm going to include the black currant and petal pink. I think it's petal pink. Hang on. Pastel pink. I'm sorry. But those will go good together. Now, of course, you do not have to make that pattern, but I'm sending all that you need in order to do so. And also, you can't make crochet things without crochet hooks. So I'm also going to include crochet hooks. One of the packages, probably the purple one, will get this. Like I said, I did the pattern in a number four weight. 
yarn and an H hook. So that is what I'm going to include um, in these gifts. This purple one, I feel like something's on me and there was something that buzzed on me earlier and I haven't found it yet. <laughs> so I'm waiting on it to come up and just bite me. Anyway, the first one is, and the only reason all three of them didn't get these is because that's all Hobby Lobby had was one purple soft, it's the Yarnology Crochet Hook H5 millimeter in a purple. And it is a soft grip. I haven't ever used these myself, but I can see that it kind of feels like a toothbrush. To, <laughs> like a toothbrush to me. But, yeah. So one of them, we'll get that one. Probably the purple package. And then the other two, we'll get these. Aluminum crochet hook. They're both Yarnology as well with the bamboo bamboo handles. Those look pretty comfy too. So, yep, you'll get the yarn and the hooks and the pattern in case you want to make that pattern. But wait, there's more. For each of the packages, I, I buy these little things every time I see anything on clearance. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for each of the packages, probably the purple one, we'll get a little purple notebook. The birds are playing like crazy right here. So excuse me while I become distracted. I want to set my everything up so I can have that in my background, but I've just got to figure it out. I'm going to have to rearrange the living room and everything to do that, but it will be worth it because it is beautiful. So anyway, <laughs> squirrel. The purple package will get a little purple notebook. The green package will get a little green notebook. And the stained glass with the or uh, blue and gold will get a little purple notebook. Yes, that's a clearance sticker. <laughs> Don't be surprised if you get some of those in my stuff now. <laughs> um, also... I'll probably include like, well, yeah, I'm going to include some pencils. I love pencils, and I'm always buying cute little pencils because, um, well, I do the junior achievement thing at the school during the year, so I'm always buying pencils. And from what I understand, everybody loves getting them. So I'll probably include some pencils and erasers. And also... Uh, a little packet of tea. Not sure what kind yet. I don't have any fancy tea shopping places around here. So if it comes from Walmart or Target or the grocery store, then that's what you'll get. <laughs> I'll put a variety of some teas in there. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I forgot. Another bag that I have made this week. Actually, I've only made this since Friday night. Uh, did I start it Friday night or Saturday morning? Today's Monday. So this one worked out really quick. Um, and if I hadn't stopped to eat a couple of times, I have to go eat because I don't buy groceries. I'm lazy like that and stuff. So anyway. Um, I made this like just in a couple of days. And it wouldn't have taken that long. But this is the pattern by Bob Wilson, one, two, three, and it's just called Cluster Stitch Bag. And it is also a free pattern. But even though it's free and download and all that, I will also include a copy of this. Like I say, I know it's free, but maybe I save you a little trouble by doing that for you. So if you'd rather make this a bag like this i use mandala uh, this is meant to be like a scrap buster type thing and i had two mandalas that i just had parts of in valkyrie so i held two together and i thought it would have been thicker and i just used them up um 
this one and the other one, I've also entered in a couple of uh, make-alongs. So I will have another video coming out um, with finished objects, whips, all that stuff. A regular podcast, I, I guess. And I will list those make-alongs in there in case you'd like to join them as well. But I will include a copy of this pattern as well. Mine is a lot larger, uh, again, than the one in Bob Wilson's uh, because I just used it up. I think she only went up seven or eight, maybe nine rows. So you can make these any size you want. And mine finished out at like 13 by 16, I think. And I think this one, the next one I make, I may do like a, what do you do, a back loop only to make a ridge around it to kind of help it stand up a little better. Because I'm gonna use this one and that other one probably as project bags myself or give them away I don't really know but anyway so you can either make I'll include two patterns and they're both free and uh, I'm not going against anybody's rules or anything about downloading these because they are free um, so you can make either one of these you'd like with that yarn or neither one of them. You make what you want to. It's your yarn. By the time I give it to you, it's yours. <laughs> what else? Uh, I mentioned maybe in this video or maybe the other 12 that I started and didn't get finished. I mentioned that I will be making myself another one of these in a more neutral color. Uh, I can't remember if it's chai latte, but it's got some silver. It's a cotton, comfy cotton and it's more neutral. It's got like little silvers or grays and like some light peach or soft pink. Um, so I'm gonna make myself a purse, I think. I'm gonna make it shorter and I'm gonna do something a little different with the handles, maybe bring them out. And yeah, I think I have said this this time, I'm not sure. Bring it out to about right here for a purse and maybe put a closure right there in the middle, I'm not sure. But I'm going to line it so that pins and stuff don't fall through it. Um, so, in case you'd like um, to do something like that with yours or make it a project bag. I'm also going to go through all of my fabric and include a fat quarter that will match each one of these in case you want to line yours. If you don't, there again, you can make a project bag or do whatever you like with it uh, because it will be yours. And... I th that's all I have written down, but I do reserve the right to include extra goodies as I see fit. <laughs> um, okay. Thank you, Mr. Grandfather Clock, for telling us what time it is. I've already been up a while, so I don't know what time it is. I didn't even count. It looks like eight in the background. So... I'm not going to keep this uh, giveaway up very long, but I do have the big pool tournament next weekend, so it will have to at least go through that weekend. Um, and then I think a week is usually a pretty good time to have a giveaway, isn't it? So I will say... Monday, June the 3rd. I'll keep this open until um, 11.59 p.m. on June the 3rd. And then I will draw three, or choose with the random comment picker, three subscribers to give each of these packages away um, in no particular order. Um, whichever one I... I will put a package together and then I will do a random and that's the person that gets that one. And then I'll put another package together and do the random and that's the person that gets that one. Uh, because I love all of these colors and if they stay here too long, I'm going to keep them. <laughs> Just kidding. I would not do, I would not take else yarny goodness. Maybe. <laughs> so I will keep this open until 11.59 p.m. on June the 3rd. I will draw winners on the 4th. It will probably be after work, maybe before work. I don't know. I get up really early. Um, and then I will announce those winners 
in their comments on this this video leave a comment um, any comment the random comment picker doesn't care what you say it just picks your name and please be a subscriber because this is for those who have gotten me here or that watch me on a regular basis and or have helped me get here uh, please be a subscriber if you're not yet a subscriber please consider subscribing and clicking on the bell so that you get notification of my videos and have I mentioned everything this time I don't know I've done two full videos and about 12 starts of videos so if I've missed anything I will put it in the comment in the you know where again I am not sponsored by any of these companies and am giving this out of the love in my heart for you, my Yarny community, my Yarny family. So please leave me a comment and I will choose that on the 4th. And I will notify if anyone wins that I have personal information for, I will notify you via email. But I will also uh, put a comment on your I will reply to your comment on this video that you to please get in touch with me and then we'll go from there because I have had um, my only other give, giveaway I did have someone trying to get a prize that was not the person that I actually chose and I knew the ones um, that won because that was only a hundred and I actually knew everybody then uh, which I should know on this one, and now I'm just rambling. <laughs> but anyway, I had someone trying to not be nice about it and try to take something that wasn't truly theirs. Um, but thankfully, that all worked out. And I think that's all. Happy Memorial Day to you and yours. I uh, hope you're enjoying your day off with them. It's just me and Goliath here, as usual. So we're going to sit here and watch the birds. And the, hopefully not too many squirrels because he'll be having a fit. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Love y'all. Bye.